Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here today to assess the earthing health technique. And we're going to uh, assess our grounding cable for that technique using a standard AM radio, which most people have. And as you can see, the AM radio is actually auto-scanning through the bands looking for a radio station right now. And it's not picking up on a radio station because there's no antenna connection to this radio currently. So we actually have two earthing cables set up that we're going to plug in and use them as antenna systems. And we're going to see what radio stations we can pick up on each cable. Now one is a standard piece of cable. It goes out to a non-electrified ground rod in my back garden. The other cable is the cable that I actually use to assess the technique. And that cable actually has a 100k ohm resistor in it. It connects onto the same ground rod. It's about the same length. And we're going to contrast how sensitive each one is to frequencies using the AM radio. And uh, it's a very simple technique to do. So once you've made up your grounding cable, all you need to do is connect it to the input of your AM radio. I've just done that. And you can see that we've tuned in to a station on AM 828. Now this particular cable is the one that I used to assess the health technique and this has the 100 k ohm resistor in the cable. So we can actually see that it does have frequency contamination on it and the cable is indeed acting as an antenna system. So let's see how many stations are actually on this cable by scanning through the bands. Okay, so we've got a very faint radio station. Another faint radio station. Another faint radio station. We have a radio station. radio station radio station radio station radio station noise Radio station. A very faint radio station. So we've gone right through the band. So let's change our antenna system over to the direct piece of cable. So this cable has no resistor in it. So you see we've lost the radio station. We've now got it back. Now we've plugged in another antenna system. So let's start scanning through using the direct connection to the non-electrified ground rod. Let's see what we get. So we have a faint radio station. Another faint radio station. Faint radio station. Radio station. Radio station. Radio station. Radio station. Radio station. Faint radio station. Radio station. Faint radio. It's noise. 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 
Noise. Noise. Paint radio station. Paint radio station. Paint radio station. Paint radio station. Radio station. Paint radio station. Paint radio station. Radio station. So you can see that there's far more signals on the direct connection to the ground rod that's in the back garden. And both cables are actually acting as antenna systems. But the more effective antenna system is the cable that doesn't have the resistor. And it appears that you actually get some protection from frequency contamination by putting the 100k resistor in. And that's one of the reasons why I put the resistor in. And the other reason why I put the resistor in was simply because if you get a fault on your cable or if there's an electrical fault in the vicinity of where your ground rod is, that you have some protection from current flow from that fault so that you don't get electrified. So there's two reasons why you want that resistor in. And uh, I actually tried the technique and I actually found that it actually made me quite sick. So I actually do believe that it's contamination that is on these cables that was actually making me sick and long-term exposure to that frequency contamination that's on the cable is probably quite harmful to health. And if you want to find out more about what voltages and frequencies on ground systems can do to you, it's actually documented extensively in the dairy industry as stray voltage. If you Google stray voltage cows, you'll actually find that it does a lot of very weird stuff to farmers, the families, and the farm animals. And it's another aspect of the earthing health technique that you need to be careful of. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.